Hello, everyone. Don Hancock speaking. Welcome to Love of Life. Here's one way to stretch your money, but a better way is to stop paying fancy prices for floor wax. Get Aerowax and save 28 cents a pint. Aerowax shines itself. Just spread it on, let it dry. It resists dirt and scuff marks, too. Remember, although other leading brands cost 65 cents a pint, Aerowax is only 37 cents. You save 28 cents a pint, and you'll like Aerowax or your money back. Love of Life, the exciting story of Vanessa Dale and her courageous struggle for human dignity. Boyardi. Perhaps you've seen my picture on Chef Boyardi products at your grocer. Many people have asked me just how to make real beef raviolis. Well, here they are, ready made. Chef Boyardi's raviolis, ready to eat and serve. See, small tender macaroni pies filled with rich hearty beef, smothered in tomato and meat sauce, real Italian style, so delicious. You get enough from a can for two hearty appetites at a cost of only about 15 cents a serving. So ask your grocer for Chef Boyardi's raviolis and look for my other Chef Boyardi foods. They're so delicious, they're also nourishing. And they keep the cost of your meals down. You will find Chef Boyardi products at best grocers. Ask for Chef Boyardi ravioli. Only about 15 cents a serving. Hello, Meg. You. Meg, I... Don't you have any sense of what's right and what's wrong? I think I do. You do? Well, then don't you think you might not be an exactly welcome visitor here? I understand that, Meg. You understand it, but there you are, just the same. Meg, I... I want to talk to you for just a moment. You've done enough talking to me to last quite a while, Meg. Van home? No, she's not. I called her at the travel agency office. They said she might be here. Well, she's not. And it's Miss Miller's day off, too. So you want to launch into another one of your tirades about me, Matt. You're safe. Meg, I'm... I'm afraid that I owe you an apology. <laughs> How very big of you, Matt Slocum. How very, very big of you. Please accept it. I've been trying very hard not to feel sorry for myself. But this isn't what you call fun. To be paralyzed. Not to be able to walk a step. To figure on being an invalid, maybe forever. And what you did is inexcusable. I am sorry, Meg, I am. It doesn't help a lot to be told that you're faking a thing like this. Meg, I thought, well, I thought it might be a psychological thing. I thought it might be possible that subconsciously you didn't want to walk. That makes you a fool. So I... So you mistake. come here and accuse me of all sorts of vile things. Of doing this just so that I could make myself dependent on Van. Just so that I could, quote, keep you and Van apart. Close quote. Brilliant and generous thought, Matt. Brilliant and generous. Hey, guy, can't do any more than apologize and say that I was wrong. What changed your mind? Van? No. Oh, I haven't seen her since then. Except that once when I told her what I'd done. All right, Matt. What did you come here for? Your apology wasn't necessary. I think it was. By that, I mean it doesn't make me feel any better. No, no, I suppose not. Well? Well, Meg, the, the way I got into all this was by becoming your son's tutor. 
And no matter how badly I've botched everything else since then, I, I do think I did a good job there. Beanie and I became awfully good friends. Are you looking for a compliment? Hardly. I'm just telling you that I think I know Beanie terribly well. Maybe, maybe even better than you do. I don't agree, but go on. Well, I'm the one who got him to agree to go to a boarding school, and I'm the one who sold him on the idea of the Corona Hill School. Well, bravo for you. Therefore, I, I feel that I have quite a responsibility. To, to Beanie, I mean. Your job as tutor to my son finished quite a while back, Matt. So your so-called responsibility no longer exists, as far as Beanie's concerned. Well, that isn't so, Maggie. You don't get a kid to love you and then just turn your back on I'm sure he's completely forgotten about you. He's very happy at the Crony Hill School. I got this in the, in the mail today. Am I to read it? Of course. It's from Beanie. Dear Matt, if you aren't a false friend and uh, What's this word? It's an original spelling for traitor. You'd have kept to your word, but you must have wanted to put me away from you, and that's why I had to go here. If you aren't a traitor, you'll come here quick. Beanie. <laughs> well, I guess you're a traitor, then. It isn't funny to a kid, Meg. That letter's more than a week old. He sent it to the university, so I just got it today. So now he's good and sore at you. That makes it you now. Meg, I mean it. It isn't funny. Beanie's, Beanie's very unhappy at that school, I'm sure. Why? Because of this note? Oh, nonsense. Van was just up there, and he likes it there. He told her so. Moreover, Matt, Beanie is no longer anything to you. Nothing. It's not your responsibility. I happen to think it is. Knowing how you must feel about me right now, I... Well, I wanted your permission before I went up to the school to see you. I can hardly keep you from going, Matt. I don't mean that, Meg. I want your permission. Direct permission. Suddenly you're getting awfully proper. Meg, I'm, I'm convinced that this is terribly important to Beanie. And I'm convinced it's your ego that makes you think Beanie can't get along without you. And I'm also convinced you're utterly wrong about the school. I happen to know so from Van's first-hand report. May I go to visit him? I told you I can't stop you. Well, I'm... I'm going to go. Next week sometime. All right? He is fine. He likes it. But suit yourself. Here's your important evidence. Well, I... I guess that's it. Once more, even though I know it's hopeless, my apologies. All right, Matt. So long. See what I mean, Beanie? Just by sort of, you know, skimming around the edge of the gym there, I could get to the mess hall. Wouldn't somebody see you? I mean, when he crossed that open space right there. Oh, not if I'm stealthy. It's a pretty dangerous, Gil. I don't care. I don't give that for danger. Oh, Gil, don't brag so much. I'm bragging. Did you offer to get the food from the mess hall? Heck no, you didn't, but I did. Old man Crothers already thinks I've been breaking the rules. Well, what of it? That Jenkins guy told him I dared him to go get food from the mess hall. Jenkins wanted it to eat. So? I didn't say a thing to Jenkins. I didn't say a thing to him. I mean, Jenkins wanted to eat it here. We've got to have it. We need it. I'm kind of the plan. Oh, I meant that Carruthers is keeping an eye on me all the time. All you mean is just scared. I'm not. Forgotten the past? No. <laughs> Who's the only two good guys in this whole crummy school? You and me. Well, what do we hate so much we'll hate it more every day till we die? The school. But, Gil, I don't think we well, You know, your through. Aunt Van was here. Oh, guess you'll never be that bad a guy. What about Aunt Van? Oh, for a while there, it sure looked like you're going to turn double-crosser. I didn't. I wouldn't do that. When she kept asking you how you liked it here and all, you almost told her how much we hated it. I didn't. I told her I liked it. I said almost. Boy, that's number one, Beanie. They've got to think we like it here. Everybody does. Even all Carruthers has to think we love it here. I told him I liked it, too. You know, 
There's one part of this plan I'm not so sure about. What part's that? The part about the gate. People walk by that gate all the time. Not if it's real late at night, they don't, Gil. Lights out! Okay, I'll turn the lights out. You, you put the flames away. We'll talk when it's dark. Gil? Yeah? I'm, I'm going through with it. Of course you are. We'll escape from here. Me and you. We're going to escape from here. Just us two. You know, th I think this week's the week. This week? Sure. On account of the moon. Oh, yeah, I guess that's right. I'll stock up on the food on Tuesday. Oh, uh, okay. And on Wednesday, some we escape. Gee, that'll, that'll be wonderful. I really think we ought to go for Alaska. Maybe we should go to Mexico. I don't care, Gil. Just so we go. Won't, Won't, they ever be Won't they ever be surprised, though, huh? Not so loud. They'll be checking lights pretty soon. That's right. Won't they ever be surprised, Benny? They sure will. All of them. Especially Matt Slocum. Uh, is, is he the tra traitor guy? Yeah. He's the... Traitor guy. Oh, boy, oh, boy. I can hardly wait for Wednesday. Can you, Benny? Mm-hmm. I can hardly wait. Good night, Benny. <sighs> Good night, Gil. <laughs> Friends, here's how to save yourself hours of needless suffering. The next time pain strikes, the pain of headache, neuritis, neuralgia, take Anison for incredibly fast, long-lasting relief. In fact, your own physician or dentist has probably suggested Anison to you. Because, you see, most prescriptions given you by your family doctor contain a combination of carefully selected ingredients designed to do a specific job. Well, the same thing is true with Anison, because Anison is like a doctor's prescription. That is, Anison contains not just the one, but a combination of medically proved active ingredients in easy to take tablet form. And it's this combination of ingredients working together that accounts for Anison's incredibly fast, long lasting relief. So friends, remember the next time pain strikes, the pain of headache, neuritis or neuralgia, take Anison. Anison comes in handy boxes of 12 and 30 tablets, economical bottles of 50 and 100 tablets. Today, get Anison for fast relief. Well, the nine-year-old imagination of Beanie Harper has convinced him that he has been deserted by the man he thought was his best friend, Matt Slocum. And so, plotting an escape from the boarding school, Beanie doesn't have any reason to know that Matt has swallowed his pride in order to ask Meg's permission to visit Beanie. And the boy could scarcely know any of the shaking adult complications that have caused Matt to neglect him. All he knows is that he's bitterly unhappy, dangerously desperate. When you suffer muscular rheumatism, lumbago, or piercing backache, reach for heat. The liniment that's strong, yet doesn't burn. Heat penetrates deep into these sore, aching muscles. You know, it works for hours to bring wonderful, soothing comfort deep down into these painful areas. Heat, you know, is not oily, sticky, or messy. This special heat applicator makes it so easy to apply. So when you suffer the pain of muscular rheumatism, lumbago, or backache, get heat liniment for fast, long-lasting relief. Don't forget, be with us again on Monday for Love of Life. Enjoy Search for Tomorrow on the CBS Television Network.